Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name's Mike with Evolve Inc. And if you have tattoos, I'm pretty sure we can all agree that healing a new tattoo is much more annoying than actually getting it. Sure, during that tattoo session, you might have to deal with a little bit of pain, but during the healing process, you have to deal with washing and taking care of it every day. Depending on where it is, you'll be sleeping awkward, it's uncomfortable, you gotta worry about not exercising, all of these different things just to make sure it heals up perfectly. This whole process can be tedious, annoying, and some tattoos can take weeks to heal. Now, with that said, there are some hacks out there that nobody really talks about that you could do to make sure your tattoo heals up quickly and perfectly. Yup, there's actually nine of them. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about nine hacks that you could do to make your new tattoo heal up much more quickly. So whether you are a tattoo pro or a rookie, these things that we're gonna be going over will make your freshest ink heal up fast and perfectly. Let's just jump right into it and get to the first hack, and that is to not rebandage it. Now I first wanna start off by saying that I know everybody has a different way of healing their tattoos. For example, some people say to leave on the wrap that your tattoo artist uses to wrap your new tattoo. But trust me, you wanna remove that wrap, and the sooner the better. Now I've said this multiple times on this channel before, but your tattoo needs to breathe in order to scab over and heal. So if you go and, you know, rewrap the tattoo with a new bandage, it's just gonna create moisture to develop underneath that bandage, making your tattoo, you know, take a lot longer, and I mean a lot longer, to heal. So just simply do not rewrap it. Now I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments on this video asking about it, so I'm gonna say this. If your tattoo artist decides to use Saniderm or any type of second skin over that new tattoo and tells you to leave it on, listen to them. Listen to your tattoo artist. I just wanted to address that because, you know, it's gonna be asked in the comment section, which is fine. Now moving on to number two, and that is to clean with lukewarm water. Yes, I'm gonna say water because that is my accent, but oh boy, is this a big one. There's just a huge miscommunication when it comes to how to properly wash a new tattoo. Some people think that they need to use like piping hot water to really clean off the tattoo or else the bacteria is gonna be there, but no, do not do this. The last thing you wanna do if you're somebody that wants your tattoo to heal faster is to use that piping hot water because if you accidentally burn yourself, this is gonna just completely almost restart the process and prolong it like crazy when it comes to healing. Hot water is great for killing germs, but on a new tattoo, this is just counterproductive and if you do it, you'll be screaming. Remember, a new tattoo is considered an open wound, so you need to be gentle with it if you want it to heal fast. My preferred method is lukewarm to wash it and cold water to rinse to really close up those pores and trapping the ink in better. And trust me, it helps. Now pause for a quick second. I invite you to subscribe to Evolve Inc. for all of your tattoo related content that you could possibly ask for. But with that said, I hope you subscribe Let's get back into the video. Now here's a great hack for you. So number three, get the right tattoo aftercare product. So you know how we said earlier that everybody has their own preferred method of healing a tattoo? Well, if you were to go ask 10 different people on what their favorite tattoo aftercare product is and what they think the best one is, you're gonna get 10 different answers. But for me personally, I have used countless tattoo aftercare products out there. And the ones that I've seen work best are the ones that are made with all natural ingredients and also help rejuvenate the skin without affecting the ink in the tattoo. And that part is extremely important. And a lot of these tattoo aftercare products really miss the mark with it. So when you are shopping around for those aftercare products, make sure they are made for tattoos. And also on top of that, they are all natural. Not only do they help prevent infections, but also give your skin all of the essentials that they need to heal up healthy and of course, Fast. Now, even with the best tattoo aftercare on the planet, if you apply it incorrectly, it's not going to help you any. Which leads me to number four, and that is to apply products sparingly. Some people think, especially if it's their new tattoo, that the more product they apply for healing, that it's going to heal up faster. But no, 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 no. That is um, that is completely wrong. Doing this will either make your tattoo heal up slower, or you know ruin it. You do not want to drown your new tattoo in healing product and create an over moisturized area because remember 
it needs to breathe. So instead of globbing up a bunch of goo, just put barely enough to go over the whole tattoo, like just a thin layer. The healing product does its job and allows your tattoo to heal up much faster. Another hack that I assure you not enough people talk about, that is when your tattoo is healing, to heal it up faster, you need to stay hydrated. Drinking a lot of water is not only key for making your tattoos look better, but while they are healing and the skin is repairing itself, the more hydrated you are and the more hydrated your skin is, the faster that tattoo is going to heal. Now the reason behind this is simple. Remember earlier how we said that tattoos are considered an open wound? Well, when your body is trying to heal up, it's going to need as much resources as possible. Resources meaning like your nutrients from your food and also hydration from drinking a lot of water. So the more resources you have in your body, the faster and healthier that tattoo will heal up. If you haven't noticed yet, the point I'm trying to make, drink a lot of water during the healing process. You will notice a much faster recovery time with that new tattoo. Trust me, I tested it out and it works awesome. Coming in at number six is to not pick or peel any of the skin off your tattoo. And I know this is easier said than done for some people, but just hear me out. During this stage of the healing process, your skin is gonna be really friggin' itchy, and also the skin's gonna be falling off, which makes it pretty tempting to wanna either scratch it off or just pick it off, but you do not wanna do this. Doing this will not only make your tattoo heal up crappy, but also it really prolongs the healing process of the overall tattoo. It's not like, oh, if I peel off all of these skin flakes, my tattoo's gonna heal up faster. That's not it, just don't, don't do it. If you do that, it pretty much restarts the whole healing process because that area to where you picked off the skin or scratched it, now that needs to heal over again. So, yeah. Moving on to number six is to avoid baths. Shower instead. And even when it comes to showering, make them fast. So I'll put it to you this way. If you want your tattoo to heal up as fast as humanly possible, you wanna limit as much as you can any kind of exposure to water. Now, if you were to say, take a really long shower or jump into a full blown bathtub, this is gonna over moisturize your skin causing it to not be able to really dry out and scab over in order to heal. So jump in, soap up, and get out. Coming in at number eight is to avoid any type of exercising. And I know this can be extremely difficult to some people that are in a certain workout routine, but trust me, if you want your tattoos to heal up as fast as possible, you need to avoid exercising, at least for a week. The main reason why you wanna avoid exercising is due to one thing, and that's sweat. So what happens when you start working out? You'll start sweating. And there's a good chance that if you have a new tattoo, sweat is gonna get into that sucker. This will not only irritate the living hell out of it, but also it will allow bacteria to enter through your tattoo. And with the end result comes tattoo infection and a prolonged healing process. Also, side note, you don't wanna overwork or stretch out the skin during the healing process. This can also prolong the healing because you're disturbing that area. So simply just do not do it. If you wanna watch more tattoo related content, be sure to check this playlist out right here. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.